you are now scarred for life. It's the year 1930. May 9th at 10.15 a.m., to be exact. What you just witnessed brought you down the downward spiral to insanity. The spiral that's impossible to drive away from. It was just a Mickey Mouse short, wasn't it? It wasn't the same old Mickey Mouse short that you always see, though. And whoever made this short was using him just to brainwash you and to take you to the place in your head that you are in now. Beautiful, isn't it? Suddenly, you hear a loud bang and a scream come from nearby. The scream sounded like it was calling for help, but but what's the point in that? Someone already lost their life to this demonic rat. Boy, what's, what's Walt going to say? And maybe you're its next victim. Yeah, maybe you are. Now you know why this film was made. Just so it can kill you and your co-workers off. It all makes sense to you now. Although you wonder why Walt isn't here to see this yet. Maybe he made this short. No, no, no. No, not Disney himself, you think to yourself. He's a nice guy. He wouldn't make something like this. Even the most kindest people in the world can have dark secrets, though. Maybe Walt betrayed you and everyone at the Disney Studios. You can't take this suffering anymore, though. You check your surroundings and find out you're the only person in the room left. You then spot a window. If I jump off, then the film's job will be done, you think. Just when you're about to jump out, though, you think of the one thing that matters most to you. Family. What will happen to them, and what will they do when you're gone? You have a wife and a little boy. Even a girl on the way. You can't just abandon them. But this is for them. You rationalize. You're ending your life because you don't want to see them go through this pain like you did. It would be for the best if you were gone. You close your eyes and jump. You understand that you're falling down from a 60-foot building, but you don't care. You just want to get out of here. And after some time, you finally hit the ground. Yes, it's finally over. There's rich, dark blood scattered around you, but... But it doesn't bother you. You hear yells and screams coming from the horizon, but to you, they sound relaxing. Almost like someone's singing you a lullaby. You smile, muttering the words, Real suffering is not known.